Hi guys and welcome to a new Abacus CA e tutorials. Today we are gonna see how to apply a torque in Abacus CA e. mm, So it is an answer to to one question that we have uh, we have had. So first, uh, start in Abacus CA e in the part module and create a new part. So I don't know what I will create, something cylindrical. Yeah, so maybe revolution, continue. So this is the axis of revolution, right? So what can we do as a shape? Something like that. Okay, let's say that, that, that. Maybe we have to close the profile, I don't remember. Okay, we'll try to, to get out. And um, let's take uh, 360 degrees. Okay. So we have something uh, that looks like uh, a bolt, for instance. Okay, it doesn't matter really, it's not so important. Properties, so let's create a steel. Density, I won't, I won't use that. that. Elastic, so same value as usual. Notice that I'm working in millimeters, so okay. Um, Section, solid section, let's continue, still, okay, and I apply this section to the set, uh, uh, let's call it bolt, section solid, okay, okay, so we have applied our section, we can go to, to the mesh module, so we cannot mesh this directly in examesh because the color is orange so we have to partition this cell uh, extend face is a good a good thing to do okay down let's see the global mesh size let's be a little bit thinner apply okay so mesh the wall part yes Okay, so the mesh is satisfying for me, so it's okay. Um, let's go in assembly and instantiate our part, part number one. Um, and so now, uh, what can we do? We can tell that we will apply a torque on on the left side, on the y positive on the positive y axis here, and we will have our boundary conditions on the right side here on the, on the screen. So to apply a torque here, I can apply it directly to the face, but maybe. The, the cleanest way to do that is to create a point that will be a master node of a, of a coupling, of an abacus coupling, and uh, this node will enable us to apply the torque on that point, and the load will be directly uh, distributed, uniformly distributed to, to all the nodes of, the f of this phase. So to do that, I go to the interaction module. Uh, uh, if I if I try to create a reference point directly, yes, I think I have a point here. I can select a point. Yes. Okay, I will take this point and directly on the face. Have no problem with that. And um, so I will create a constraint that will be called RB RB two. And it should be a coupling, continue. So master node is the reference point. And I will create a surface based on that face. And 
okay. I can transmit all the degrees of freedom, yeah, okay. But I will just apply the torque, so it will be uh, UR2 that we will apply, okay. So we can go in the step module to define our static step. Static general, continue. Uh, let's keep the default parameters. Um, even energy on to off. I don't know, we will see later what uh, kind of deformation, uh, what kind of strain we have. And uh, we go to the, m to the m load module. So in the step number one, we will just apply kind of constraint on the right side. So just, just here on the edge, I think it is enough. And I will just pin. Okay. And I will create a load. So it will be a moment. Continue. I will take the RP, the reference point. And um, so it is the CM2 that we need to, to define. Uh, what we, we, uh, which kind of value we can put 1000 Newton per millimeter? So let's try this, we will see later. And so everything has been defined, I think. So job, we create a job. So how can we call that? Job talk, maybe. Continue. Memory. My PC is wor already working now, so we just take 50% maybe. Yeah. And uh, we we'll use uh, four CPUs. Um, I think it's okay. So maybe you can write the input file first, just to see what what happens. So star part, star node. So I don't like when it's uh, when it is written in assembly mode. So. So I will just double click on the model and check do not use parts and assemblies in input files and so I will write it again. Yes. And um, when you open it so you have no parts, no no things like that. It's just comment commented now. So you have nodes, elements, I suppose. So it is a C3D8R. Okay, why not? After the elements, well, what do we have? Node set, L set. So it is the Abacus CAE stuff. The material is still okay. Kinematic coupling. Name RB2. So our static step, which is in the step number one, and, uh, the only one. Output uh, preselected, okay, because I didn't define any output uh, request. So C load, the degree of freedom number five and one thousand newton per millimeter. What we have, mm -hmm. what we have asked. So okay, we, we can try to solve this. Submit, okay. So once the calculation has started, you can monitor what is happening. If, if, the, if the calx is converging properly or not. Warnings, always some warnings. Okay, so. So the, the, calc, the calc is completed, so I would just check the results to see if we have something interesting. So I think so, we have something. 
let's just modify the legend to, to see something on the scale, set font, just change from 8 to 14 and check everything, so basically, okay. So the stresses are very low because I suppose the momentum is quite low too. Okay, so they are, it's not so realistic, but it's not the problem of today, no problem. The scale factor is quite high. Okay, imagine that uh, I increase the, the, the torque and uh, we'll have a scale factor to, to one or close to one, and, uh, but it doesn't change, it doesn't change the, what we want to see here. Can I the scale factor maybe? Not too fast. Swing. Okay. So we can maybe try to to add some to, to in fact to see the displacement so vectors we just see the displacement uh, rotational displacements you are maybe around around uh, the the axis number two and uh, I just want to see that. Yeah, okay. So it's not so interesting. The symbol. So I will change to stress. I change the color blue to red. Okay, I just remove the, the meshes so you can see what ha is happening inside. So yes, there is a, a torsional uh, distribution of the stresses. So in fact, uh, it is uh, shearing, pure shearing. You can decrease the number of number of arrows so that we can see clearer what is happening inside okay this this Okay, so the main loading is basically uh, due to torsional, uh, to the torque, to the torsional effort. And of course, it is logical because it is the only effort that we have applied in our model. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.